wonder why Dr. Mas would be covering this kind of evil all in the name of friendship. That man is wicked and need to be persecuted. This is the third time they're bringing that man in this hospital. Just in two months. This is so bad. But why would Dr. Mas instruct us not to allow anyone into our ward? Of course, he's protecting his friend. But I wonder why a woman will be going through such domestic violence and still remain in that marriage. Love. She loves her husband. Love my fruits. It's only stupidity and fear of what people will say that will make a woman do that. The last beating caused her miscarriage. And now she's in coma. Maybe, who knows? The last one, she will be in her grave. Only God knows if that woman will survive this time. Most gifts. Please, eh? That is their business. Let me focus on my own. As I come here for. I'm very curious, sister. Let me see this. Brother, I heard from Femi. That Chidera has headache and she's in the hospital. Yes. Okay, you're coming back. Okay. Okay. So I brought her here. What kind of headache? Is that what the doctor says is wrong with her? No, he's he's checking on her now. He's about to find out what's going on. Okay, I, I need to make some payments now. Okay, we'll just be calm. We'll find out what's going on. Everything is okay. Okay. Good afternoon, nurse. Good afternoon, sir. We're here to see Mrs. Shudera Williams. We are her siblings. Okay, you'll have to sit down. The Downstairs, they said they want to see Mrs. Chidera Williams, the woman in ICU. They're her siblings. I don't know how else you want me to tell you that no visitor is allowed to see that patient. I repeat, no visitor is allowed to see her without my authorization. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You still come back here. Ask me. No, no. So why, why do you love noise? 
Um, you know, it's a hospital, you know, and some people get angry when the staff ignore them, you know, but they just ignore the noise. It's not our problem, you know. It's okay. I feel so heavy. I feel like going downstairs, maybe walk around in the hospital. Ah. Uh. No, no, you don't have to. I, I already called the nurse to come and check your BP. She'll be here shortly. Oh, that's okay. I forgot. Yeah. No problem, Dan. Wait. What about you? There are people. Have they come? Have you notified them of what happened to their daughter? They know their sister is in the hospital, you know, but um, I haven't told them what happened. That would just get me in trouble. And no matter what, you have to tell them. No, 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 I'll, I'll tell them. But I'll tell them when they get here. It's not a phone conversation. I'd rather hide here than to allow that man descend on me. This is seriously getting out of hand. Dr. Mas and Mr. Femi Williams left us at the war front. My dear, I cannot die for what I know nothing about. As for me, I will remain here until they allow them to see their sister. Okay. Our phones are in there. What if Doc calls? Why don't you just go pick it up? Seriously, that's your business. I don't want to be the scapegoat. That man almost told me about. In fact, I don't want to be seen around that reception again until Dr. Mars permits them to see their sister. In fact, I'm going to hide at the canteen. Can they all not be picking their cause at the same time? Where's my sister? Gentlemen, please calm down. Your sister is on the point. What nonsense treatment is that? Where is my sister? Where is she? I don't understand what games you're playing with Femi. But trust me, I'll strangle you here and nothing will happen. No, it hasn't gotten to that. You know what? I'll take you to your sister immediately. Headache could make someone be on life support. Headache? Femi said she had headache. That was why he brought her here. Why is my sister on life support? Have you conducted any tests on her? Uh, yes, uh, but... Um, Where is the result? I'm sorry, the result is not out yet. Then what are you treating? Why is my sister on life support? Calm down. All we're trying to do is to save your sister's life. Don't tell me to calm down when my sister's life is at stake. How dare you treat her blindly? Honestly, I'm not confident what is happening here. I think we should just take my sister away from this hospital. By the way, where is Femi? He stepped out to get some injections. What stupid injections? 
when you don't even know what you're treating. Doctor, pray nothing happens to my sister. Just pray. Pray nothing happens to my sister. Just pray. Else, I will shut down this hospital. I will. Um, gentlemen and lady, I'm sorry, but I would have to ask you to leave. Uh, the patient needs some time alone. What is wrong with my sister? Rest from what? What is wrong? What is wrong with her? What are you treating? Elos! Look at my sister. Look at what they've to my sister. Look at my sister. We should leave. Look at my sister. You can't even leave. Leave nowhere. Keep walking. What is wrong with my sister? Just look at you. I didn't hear this time, please. I, I just, she complained about headache and I brought her here. Please, let's just calm down, please. please. Calm down, calm down, please. Please, okay? I, I, um, I need to see the doctor, uh, find out what's going on, but I'll be back here very soon. Please just calm down, okay? I'll be back in a second, please. brother-in-law almost pounced on me, demanding to see his sister. So I had no choice but to take them to their sister. Did you tell them what happened? Calm down. Look, the situation is still under control. But they are asking too many questions. I think you should go and see them. That will calm the tension. Because they are threatening to move her to another hospital. And you know what that means if we ever let them get away with it. And one more thing for me. Your wife is not responding to treatment. Come on. Be a man. You have to face your fears. Go and see them. But you have to go through the back door. So you can come in from the reception because I told them you went to buy injections for her. Instead of taking me to my house. Okay, well, the doctor um, insisted that we monitor you and make sure you're okay before we take you back to the house, you know, before we rush it and regress it. Let's just make sure everything is okay. I'm sure everything is okay, just precautionary steps. I still stand my ground. Tell Chidera's people what happened to their daughter. <sighs> if you don't do that, I, I will tell them myself. I'm your son, why would you do that? That's like, I would never do that to you. Oh no, Femi, you are my son. I know. Yes, why would you do that to me? But you would have listened to me when, when I warned you against beating that girl. I told you that domestic violence 
is very bad. But you refuse to listen to me. <sighs> Have you seen where it has landed you? Is that why? Oh, Femi, I can never cover evil no matter who committed it over my dead body. Tell so children ask people what happened to their daughter. Else I will do that myself. Why now? Mom, you wh wh why? What did I do to you? Femi? Yes, ma'am. You're happy? Oluwa Femi, you're happy? You are happy that you slept in this mansion while your lovely wife is there in the hospital? Ma, she's there with her siblings, you know, and I don't, I don't want to go there. They might just kill me. And it's better I let them be there with her. Oluwa Femi? Yes, ma'am. I expect you to tell them what happened to their sister. I can't tell them now, now. I'm going to cause trouble. Oluwa Femi? Oluwa Femi, you have to tell them now. Tell them, or I will do that myself. And you know if I do that myself, it will cause more trouble. How can you be this wicked and heartless? Oluwa Femi, her girl that loved me like her own mother. She did not give me life. That day they rushed me to the hospital. They called your number severally. But it was wisdom. But just one call they called her. She picked up and rushed to the hospital. Donated blood that gave me life. Oh, Oluwa Femi. Oluwa Femi. You are wicked. You are wicked. Chidera, that is my life. A girl that gave me life. Donated blood for me to live. Only for her to come home. To inform you what happened to your mother. And bring food for me to eat. You beat her to come. Oluwa Femi, pray to your God. Pray to your God that nothing happened to my, to, to my daughter-in-law. If anything happens to my daughter-in-law, Uluwa Femi, I will not forgive you and I will expose you. <laughs> oh, you are acting deaf, me. Because I know you heard me. Why are you acting as if you did not hear what I said? You heard me. Go and tell them what happened to their sister and do that today. Okay, it's okay, ma. I'll tell them. I promise you. I'll tell them myself. Okay? Good. Yeah. But do you know what? I would like to be there when you're telling them. Ah. Yes. So I'm coming with you to the hospital. Now? Yes. Now. Okay. Okay. I mean, once you change, you know, get, once you get ready, it's, it's not an issue. No problem. Let me go and change. Let me change. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what? Change your phone. I want to call Dr. Max. That is not a problem. Okay. Let my phone make up. Thank you, ma'am. That works for you, ma'am. <laughs> Duncan! 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 Okay. Sam, nobody's coming into this house. Do you understand? Nobody is coming into this house and nobody is leaving this house. Eh? Good. I'll be back. Open the gate. Okay, how madam did? The only is not to let anybody go or come. Eh? Not to know how Madame did. Madame did. Yes, Oga. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
we are going to reach any of you. No, mommy is not by switched off, and yeah. that of Femi. Eh? Then she said that she's not picking her course. Eh? I hope everything is okay, oh. Joan, by the way, do you have um, Duncan's number? I don't have his number. Oh. Oh. But, but this is strange. How come three of them, their numbers are off at the same time? No. It's, it's, this, 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 this is very, very strange. Especially mommy. Mom, that her phone is always on. Mommy does always at her last to take her calls regardless of the time. None of them is reachable, their phones are off. Chidera is not taking her calls. I just pray everything is okay. Go for bed, Joanne. Go for bed. Eh? What will happen to them? Eh? What will happen to them? Hey. Let's just keep trying and see the number will go. Eh? Let's see if we can reach any of them. You dare not tell me to come down. My sister has been lying here for days without any positive result. I want to try another hospital. Look, I totally understand your anger. But believe me, we are trying our best. She's on life support. And we need to manage her situation until she gets out of coma. Then we can commence proper medication. Believe me, even if you take her to the world best hospital, it will be the same thing. The way we are managing her here will be the same way they are going to manage her over there. So what's the point? I'm running out of patience. I feel so bad that my sister is lying in this state. Obviously, your effort is not good enough. Can you imagine? Even the tests you carried out on her, till now, the results are not yet out. And you still want me to believe that you people know what you're doing here. Dr. Max, it is my sister's life we're talking about here. I don't want to gamble with it. Okay, 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 it's fine. I will oblige your request. But first, you have to allow us to manage until she's out of coma. Then you can take her to the new way you want. 